Hello and welcome back to another studio vlog. I want to get straight into it and announce that GSJJ has reached out to me and wanted to collaborate with me on designing an enamel pin. Now I've heard of GSJJ while watching Catnip Studio Vlogs and had them in mind as a possible manufacturer for my hard enamel pins and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to try them out. If you don't already know, GSJJ is an e-commerce website that specializes in promotional gift merchandise such as enamel pins, button badges, lanyards, acrylic keychains, and more. One of the biggest high points for me was the elimination of the middleman. Compared to my last experience with finding an enamel pin manufacturer and dealing with the contract and shipping agreement, GSJJ handles all of that for you so that you can enjoy the fun part of creating products like the artwork and creating the best design for you. They offer free shipping, free art, no minimum order quantity, very competitive prices, and many customizable options so that your pins are tailored to your interests. Just going out there and trying to determine a base cost for your design is super simple. Let me show you. You'll select free quote and then you can choose hard enamel pins and then you can choose your size. And in my case, I believe my pin is 1.25 inches. So I went ahead and chose that for this demo. And then you can choose your metal. And in my case, I chose gold. After that, you'll choose the amount of colors you'll need. In my case, I believe there was four, so I went ahead and chose four colors. And then this time I do not have glitter, so you can say no, and then I wanted a gold clutch. And then I got mine in the poly bags because it was free, and then I did not opt for any backing cards, which they can design for you or make for you with your own design. 20 was the quantity and since I wasn't in a rush I just chose the longest period of time because it's the cheapest and it's under USD for you know dollars my currency and it gives you a simple really quick quote for about the base coverage of what you're requesting and then you can always work with a staff member to make it more complex or fit whatever artistic needs you have. After you are happy with your selections, a team member will reach out to you and help you with finalizing the order and design. I've had the most polite, professional, and overall amazing experience with GSJJ's team. All of my questions were answered and the turnaround time for responses were within 24 hours. I didn't feel rushed and they helped match my color designs to Pantone colors, so I didn't even need a Pantone guide or book. They also provided the design proof to ensure I would be happy prior to sending them off to production. So here's an example of what my proof looked like. My pins arrived super quickly, which I was so surprised about. I will leave a link to GSJJ site in the description below for you to check out. They have so many great options to choose from, so don't hesitate to reach out to them, and I'm sure they will be happy to answer any of your questions. I highly recommend them. Now, before we take a look at the enamel pins GSJJ so kindly gifted me, let me show you the illustration that inspired the design for the pins. Okay guys, so here's the finished illustration for the artwork I've been working on for the summer collection. I think it turned out super cute, it's super vibrant and just fresh looking and I wanted to go ahead and create something that you can put pretty much 
anywhere in your home if you wanted to use it as an art piece yeah I just wanted to uh, create something that was just very cute but also very functional I also want to make this available in bigger sizes like 8x10 5x7s so that you're you can just put it anywhere and I just wanted to put a little bit more value into my artwork and make it more functional for various spaces in your home and this was also the inspiration for creating the enamel pins that I collaborated with GSJJ on. And if you look very closely, you will see he's holding cute little juice box. He has a collection over here that he's enjoying. So yeah, this is the inspiration for the enamel pins. So I will go ahead and show you the final results of those. your time and attention won't you give some of it to me i've been lonely lately i've been feeling neglected and i want you to show me can we get back on the same page tonight can we stay and why don't you Okay guys, I wanted to give you some real time reactions and just look how adorably cute this pin is. I just love it so much. I cannot believe the quality. I mean, I really like my other pins, but this one just came out super shiny, super smooth, and I just really love how vibrant the colors are. I was a little worried about the colors that I've picked out because I didn't want it all to meld in together. There are a lot of yellows and a lot of oranges, but I think it turned out really good. And look at Citrus. He looks so cute. He has little citrus freckles on his cheeks. They're screen printed on. And they're there. <laughs> so you might have to look a little closer for them, but they are there. And I just love how the little juice squeezes are in here. And look at this adorable little juice drop. I just love that little detail. So super cute. So Citrus is an orange and he likes to sell his oranges uh, via juice box. So I think it's just super cute. And I, I, I just can't stop looking at it. It's so adorable. And there's the back. They have their GSJJ logo on there. And so they told me they that they put those on there for any gifted items. Any future ones that I create um, and that I purchase will have Crafty Origins on there. But I'm super happy with this pin and my kids love it too. So when you can get a kid's approval on something, that's just freaking awesome. So I can't say nothing but good things so far for this company. The experience with them and the communications, everything that went through from beginning to end was super pleasant, 100% positive and I am definitely excited to create more pins with them and also other products that they offer. So let's go ahead and quality check these and I need to go ahead and design a backing card for them. So I'm super excited to do that. So let's get to it.
Hello guys, so if you made it this far, thank you so much. I am going to start wrapping up the vlog. Um, so just to wrap it up, I'm super excited about how the summer collection is going. I love the new print and I love the new button design and also the new enamel pin from GSJJ. Thank you so much again. Um, I just think everything is turning out so cute and I'm super excited to go ahead and make further items for this collection. So stay tuned for that. The other thing I want to show you before I end this vlog are a couple of enamel pins that I saw and I just thought they were so cute and so inspiring and I wanted to go ahead and support those artists. So for the first one is Catnip. <laughs> of course, if you don't already know, Catnip does studio vlogs here on YouTube and she's all over social media and she makes adorable enamel pins. So here's the thank you print that she put it in my purchase. It's so cute. I really love it. And I love how she's coming into her own making background scenes. It's super cute. And I'm so happy that she's like super happy with her art style now and feels like it really became her. So super proud of her. And the pin that I got is the bumble butt on some Sakura branches. It's super cute. I love the glitter in his wings and I just think it's super adorable and a nice touch are the sakura flowers on the back for the pin backs that's adorable I just love it I mean I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna stick this bad boy right on my pin board because I just love it so much and for the other one is from an artist called Trixie Lynn I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong um, but this is the thank you in the freebie sticker. So it's a thank you print. And here's the freebie sticker. I really love these designs. I think it's super cute. And I love the colors chosen and the gradients against the contrasting background. I think it's so adorable. And for this enamel pin, it's Sakura Snack Time. And I think it's so cute. Look, it's a bento box and it has the chopsticks. But wait a second, the kicker is the lid comes off. So it's a magnetic enamel pin and you get to see all of the bento box treats inside. And when you're done, you can go ahead and snap the lid right back on. And you can shift it back into place. Um, so see, I can you can just shift it right back into place and yeah. I would not trust this on a backpack or a lanyard, but that's just me. I don't know if other people do that or if the artist recommends it or not, but I just like it so much that I'll be afraid that I might lose the lid or just lose it all together. So this is also going on the pin board. And then this one comes with pink double class pin backings as well. So super adorable, nice touch. Both of these pins are so inspiring and I just had to add it to my collection. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I had time for this week. I'm so glad that you were here and you stayed to watch to the end. I just want to thank all of the new subscribers. Thank you so much. I feel like thank you is being overused and sounding redundant, but I just feel like there's no words to really show the gratitude. So thank you again for being here and just a uh, heads up PDA, I there may not be a vlog next week. I will try but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, Mom is coming into town for Mother's Day weekend and the entire week and so we want to spend time with her. So I just not going to be able to put up a vlog next week but I definitely will in the week after so stay tuned for that where I want to go ahead and start adding tassels to bookmarks and I want to make notepads and I also want to make a sticker sheet to go with the new summer collection so hopefully you'll stick around and look forward to that video but in the meantime I want to thank everyone for watching and I hope you Mothers out there had a great have a great Mother's Day weekend and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.